All right, guys, today we are going to be doing the fuel lines and primer ball on a Ryobi C30, CS30 uh, trimmer. Um, it's the one that takes the attachment. It's got the edger on it right now. Um, I'm not sure that this will run afterwards or not, but I'm going to do this job so you know how easy it is to do it. I know that when I prime it that it leaks fuel out of the out of the fuel lines because they're just hardened and shrunk and not really in the gas tank like it's supposed to be um all right yeah so first thing we're gonna do is pop this cover off here the air filter cover off um i'll put all the parts in the description they, they come in a kit um they even have the the carburetor and everything super cheap so i'll get you that kit on there as well um, air filter off we've got uh two uh eight millimeter those might be tens i don't know um i'll check it i'll let you know in a second seconds up they're 10 millimeter take them off and we're gonna pull this cover off she likes to stick but she will come off it's just stiff on the on the bolts on the studs it's just stiff on there but it'll come off all right now we're gonna go ahead and remove the fuel lines um I think this one is actually the filter line. Yeah, that's the one with the filter. The bottom is going to be the line with the filter, and the top is one that's just a return line. There's no filter, I think. We're going to find out right here. The top line's a return line. Now, the only difference between what I'm doing right now and putting a whole brand new carburetor on is literally doing this, doing this. And then, you know, putting a new carburetor and new fuel lines in. So that's the only difference. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this off. We're going to cut this line. Drop the filter right on into the tank. Dump all the gas out of the tank. Get that filter out of there and the old line out of there. All right, so we're going to cut this off. Fuel line into a point. We're going to stick it on the inside hole. I'm going to push this all the way on in. We're going to basically work it all the way till it's outside of the um, fuel cap. Cut the tip off of it. Stab the fuel filter into it. Now, let me get my fingers out of the way. We're gonna pull the line back in until the filter is inside and sitting on the bottom, you know, in the middle, somewhere like right there. Right there like that let's get it right on in there like that all right and cut a uh, point on the fuel line shove it in about an inch or two just getting it in the tank a bit is all all right so short one on the outside is the return line the one on the inside is going to be your fuel filter line i know it's the opposite of the way they had it but it's just easier to to get to when you do it through this side and do it this way it's you know it's whatever it doesn't matter you can do it the other way it's just the way i did it um all right we're going to remove the fuel lines from the carburetor get them off of it two phillips head screws take them out this primer ball is good but it is yellowing and with some fresh gas going through it it could pop at any time might as well just go with a brand new primer ball so two Phillips heads, you can remove them. Before you take this off, make sure that there's no, if there's a bunch of dirt on this, rinse this all off really good. Make sure all the dirt on the outside is off. When you pull this off, you don't want any dirt getting inside your carburetor. It's going to ruin the carburetor. All right, and then you're just going to pull the primer ball and the metal piece off. And look, as soon when I squeeze this, it actually, just like I said, it could pop at any time. It actually, it actually popped on me. Isn't that crazy like yeah put that back on there boom just like that so you just slide the primer ball in it primer ball slides right on there like perfectly everything lines up just perfectly and then put the two bolts back in it and tighten it all down just like that um, again bottom nipple is for the fuel filter top nipple is return line 
Uh, before we get in there though, make sure you got your gaskets in place. You got your your uh, main gasket goes between the, there's a, there is a gasket back here. Make sure that this piece is nice and tight. This plastic piece is nice and tight. Um, there's a couple bolts underneath this big gasket. If it's loose, you can tighten it up. Got your main gasket. You got another um, um, isolator block. And then you got your secondary gasket. Make sure all the holes line up. You got this little hole up here. Make sure it's lining up. See with that. And then that lines up with the one underneath. That's your vacuum line. That goes to the carburetor. I'll show you. Hold on, let me get this back on. Goes to the carburetor. So there's a vacuum line right there. That runs your fuel pump built into your carburetor. Um, stab your throttle cable on drop your carburetor into place where it goes like that make sure that the throttle is working all right um, again bottom line is your fuel filter line we're gonna cut that to size tab it on top line is your fuel return line we're going to cut that to size stab it on make sure this gasket is on top of the carburetor won't stop it from running this helps keep you from sucking air between the intake and the uh, carburetor it helps keep the extra dust and sand out um, choke arm goes into this slot here line it all up you're gonna to have to kind of force it down because it is stiff on these studs there you go, two 10 millimeter nuts, tighten them down, put a little gas in it, prime it up. Well, that's a good sign. It's priming. Fuel's going in. It's a good sign. We're going to see if we can get this thing to run. That's a good sign. It ran. It's running a little rich. I'll do a, a video on adjusting the carburetor in the next video. Um, but yeah, that's it. All the parts will be in the description below. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Show me a little support. Oh, here, push this. Choke down. Boom, pops right in. Show me a little support. Uh, if you want to do any advertising on my channel, message me. I'll be more than happy to have you. Peace.